You're on. Ready? Yep. Hello, I'm Nigel Beckhart with an H A R D T. We just got the tea going right now here in the new house. That's right. We've moved to a new location here in Maine. Undisclosed because what happened last time. I am, of course, the author of Why Don't They Like Me Volumes 1 through 8. And here I am on yet another journey of the supernatural. This is a very old house that we're in. That's why we got the tea kettle on. We're, we're respecting the history here. And uh, together we're going to discover if this house is actually full of demons and spirits, things of the unknown. And together we're going to find out and have some tea along the way. Come with me now. Looks like the tea has finished. Indeed. And, you know, we're our avid tea drinkers because we believe in the spiritual qualities um, and the protective layer that comes with, with tea drinking. You know, and what we do isn't easy. And, you know, it's obviously very dangerous. And so we take precautions, you know, tea. And like cucumbers? What's that? Precautions like cucumbers? Cucumber precautions because we care about, you know, health. Yeah. Never easy. What? <laughs> what did you say? I said that's the only way to travel. That's not how you said it. I don't have to say it. Either. That's the only <laughs> way to travel. <laughs> so. That's the only way to travel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I you can't do. even make good tea. Like, what are you even good for? I am making good tea. I'm gonna have to find all the ghosts, aren't I? Myself. Fuck. Come on, Shiba. Let's go find the ghosts. <laughs> so, hey guys. It is, uh, let's see. Uh, almost midnight, and we have, uh, not even finished moving into the place. As you can see, our stuff is everywhere. That's my pile of ties. And that is my Jurassic Park vintage uh, VHS collection. You know, haven't even set up the old uh, bull painting yet. Um, so for the last couple hours, Katie and I, we've been just kind of wandering about the location, getting a feel for it. Um, big place, it's old. It's got some creepy little areas. Say hi to Katie. What's up? So uh, we've been checking out the place for about an hour. You gotten any creepy vibes yet? No. Nothing at all? No, I feel good. What about the basement? I mean, it's a basement. So yeah, yeah, I figured we'd just start the episode with going down into the basement, giving you guys a view of sort of what's what's it like down there. We got a big basement, old old house, colonial time kind of house, you know. So we're going to we're going to tread down into the basement here and just take a look. Our landlord did warn us a few little silly stories about this house, and one of those stories took place here in the basement. Uh, so yeah, um, we're gonna take a look around this basement here and as you can see it's just full of our shit. We haven't totally moved in. Um, but yeah, these are our two top-of-the-line Samsung washers and dryers and uh, yeah We've got just some of our tools over there, you know bug off spray fishing gear Golfing gear, you know all the normal stuff. No big deal Pretty normal basement if you ask me. What's that? The toilet's running. What do you mean? Like it's just making a bunch of noise Constantly. I better get in there and explore this. Oh, it stopped. It stopped. It stopped. See? Are you trying to add dramatic effect to the show? No. You making this up? No. I don't make stuff up. You heard it. It was running. Well, it's good now, so back to business. <laughs> so it may not be a whole lot, but we've had our first supernatural occurrence. As I was showing you guys the basement, I come upstairs noticing a toilet that won't stop running. Roll the clip. And here we are. As soon as I come into the bathroom with the camera, it stops. Could be nothing. Could be something. All I know is it's going to be a long night. Our dog is petrified. As you can see, the fear coursing through her wrinkles. It is quite an intense moment for this young canine. Why don't you show us up to the bedroom, up the stairs, up the elegant staircase, and uh, we will attempt to get some rest and, and let, the, let the motion sensors 
do the rest of the work. And if something happens, we'll wake up and we'll we'll be there to film it. So why don't you lead us up? All right. Lead us up new place here in Maine. Maine indeed. Creepy haunted house in Maine. Go ahead and turn these lights off here. You know, the darkness brings out the anger. Darkness brings out the anger in the demons. Right, of course it does. Well, we've, we've discovered that through extensive series. <clears throat> exploring the supernatural unlike anyone has ever, ever attempted. So, yeah, as I said, we've just moved in. But we wanted to be prepared for anything. We, we didn't want to wait around for the magic to happen. We wanted to start rolling the first day we get moved in. Sheba's our guard dog. She's going to protect us from any sort of uh, ill ill doing towards our personal health. <laughs> Which are already in a much fragile state. <laughs> Where'd you go, Kankle? Oh my god, I can't even fit you in the widescreen. <laughs> Sheba. Sheba. I have a feeling even she senses something wrong with this house. It's gonna She's be shaking some. It's gonna be a long night. It sounded like, like footsteps coming up the first couple of steps and then running back downstairs into the living room. Let's see if Nicole's awake. Nicole. Okay, they're asleep. I'm gonna let them sleep because it may be nothing. I'm gonna go check this out. <sighs> shit. <laughs> Told you we haven't moved in entirely yet, so. Oh, shit. I just fucking tripped over it. Step. Sorry, I'm not used to this place yet. Straps in the goddamn way. Alright, so it sounded like something came kind of stepping up these steps here and then rushing back into the living room here. Let me check this out for you. <clears throat> sounded like something. There comes Sheba. Sheba, you okay? Sound like something like took a step up these steps here and then rushed back down and then ran into the living room. It was really weird. I wonder if. Uh... Oh my god, whoa! What the? Is that our bread? Oh my god, what the f? What's going on? I heard something downstairs. The bread just flew off the fridge. I didn't want to wake you. Are you trying to scare me? Uh, no, it really, it just happened right now. Here, let's just pick it up. Ooh. Put the bread back. Let's just go to sleep. I don't know what that happened. I don't know what that was. Sheba, come on, let's go to sleep. Sheba, come on, go. Go lay down. Get up there, go, go. I'll tell you about it tomorrow. Let's just go to sleep. Okay.